Hey there, I'm Doug from Confology, and in this video, we're going to use WooCommerce and Cartflows to create a sales funnel for our Thrive Apprentice 4.0 products. It's super easy, and I'm going to walk you through every single step along the way so that you can get up and running in no time. The first thing we need to make sure we do is create a product in Thrive Apprentice. I'm not going to do that in this video. I have several others that go through the whole process of product creation and everything involved in that. So you'll find those here on the channel. We're going to use our Convology Pro membership that we've made here on our demo site that we've tossed a few things into. We don't need to make any changes to the product. We need to go over to WooCommerce to start the connection. So let's go over to WooCommerce or not WooCommerce, but right below it in my installation, find products. It's a WooCommerce feature. You're going to get confused because products are a WooCommerce thing and products are a Thrive Suite thing. And now I'm going to be saying products a lot. So if you're already confused, I am too. So let's go ahead and create a new product and we'll call this our Convology Pro membership. All right, now the key here is that we're not going to use a bunch of this other stuff because we're going to use cart flows to make our funnel. So we just need to get the bare necessities done. And for us, it's choosing whether this is a simple product, which means it's sold one time, or if this is a subscription. Now, caveat, in order to use subscriptions, you have to get a subscription plugin for WooCommerce. It's actually one of the reasons I am not a huge fan of WooCommerce. They kind of nickel and dime you on their annual prices for their plugins, but that's their business model. It's cool, I respect it. So if you're using a subscription, if you're selling an annual or a monthly membership, not a simple product, you would choose subscription and then you'd enter the pricing details. I don't have that plugin on my demo site, so I'm leaving it as a simple product. I'm checking the virtual box and I'm setting a price, not sale price, but a regular price of $9.99. We won't put a sales price because it's not on sale. The next section we wanna to go to is the Thrive Apprentice section, and we're going to find our product. In this case, the Convology Pro membership. Done. All right, I'm not gonna fill out anything here under this description. I'm not gonna fill out anything here. I'm not gonna add any photos. I'm not gonna walk through the bloated process of WooCommerce to add all of that stuff because we're not going to need it. We're going to simply sell our membership and our courses, again, using cart flows. So with that done, we're just going to click publish and get out of this experience as fast as possible. All right, now it's time to go into the cart flows side of things, which is much better than the WooCommerce side of things. Now, when you're setting up cart flows for the first time, and I'm putting a link in the description where you can pick it up, you're going to be asked what page builder you're using if you are using one. And you're not going to find Thrive Suite or Thrive Architect on that list. So instead, just choose Other, I believe it is. And they'll say, well, if you're using Other, you got to start from scratch. That's totally fine. We want to start from scratch because I'm going to show you an easy way to bypass it. The first place we want to go is called Flows. So under Cart Flows, go to Flows. Think of Flows as funnels. So you're going to want a flow for every course that you have that you're selling individually, you're going to want a flow for your membership. We're going to set up a flow now. So let's go ahead and click add new. And you'll see once again, you're not using one of our native builders. So that's fine. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to give our flow a name. We'll just name it what we're naming our membership. We'll call it Convology Pro Membership. And then click design your flow. Let's take a really quick overview tour of cart flows inside the flow editor. We have our steps, which by default, they've created a landing page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. We'll go over those in a second. We have our canvas, which is really stinking cool. This is where you can essentially build your whole funnel. You can see the visualization here of what we have inside our flow. Now, after our canvas, we have our settings for our flow, which again, are just the things we've kind of already set our title, our slug, whether we want our flow to be indexed uh, in Google, some analytics details you can turn on, you can turn on testing mode and custom scripts. Pretty basic stuff, we don't need to touch it. And then you have analytics, which I must say, I really like. I really like the fact that you can come in here and see conversion rates and you can see uh, total visitors and things like that in this section. I think that's definitely something that using cart flows and WooCommerce has a leg up with over something like Thrivecart or another tool. Not that you can't get that exact same data, you just don't have it nicely in your WordPress dashboard. So let's jump back to our steps tab. Now with our steps, I mentioned a landing page, a checkout page, and a thank you page, which the thank you page, you can think of it like a confirmation page. If this is your flow, no pun intended, where you have a sales page that links to another page that's a checkout page, that then sends to a confirmation page, great, we're going to use this, we're going to edit. In fact, we're going to do that. However, some people like to embed their checkout onto their sales page. If that's you, I'm going to show you that version after this one. So assuming you have a landing page and you want to link to the checkout, 
here's what we're going to do. We're going to click into our sales landing page and you're going to be greeted with this. You're going to see design and settings. Settings is pretty simple. They're going to give you a next step link. You are going to want this because that's what you need your buttons to link to in order to get to the checkout step. Super easy, but you're going to want that link. Then under general, we just have the same kind of stuff. What's your slug? What's your step name? So instead of sales landing, and again, we can edit that here or up here with the pencil, uh, let's just call this our sales page. Let me click save settings. We could have changed our slug as well, up to you. Now we have a couple of options here. We have our edit step button. If you click this, it's going to open up the WordPressy looking page editor. That's one way to get access to Thrive Architect, which is what we're using to build our sales page. You can click view or you can click go to WordPress editor. Edit step and WordPress editor are actually the same thing for us because we chose other as our page builder. Here's what I like to do. I like to click view. Now, don't be alarmed. There's nothing here to see. But at the top here in our WordPress admin toolbar, I like to click edit with Thrive Architect. Again, you could have clicked go to WordPress editor and then clicked your little button that says edit with Thrive Architect. Regardless, our goal right now is to get into the Thrive Architect editor to build our sales page. Okay, now we're staring at a lovely white screen. Here's what's really cool about using Thrive Architect. We can import landing pages. So if you click this little cloud up at the right hand corner, we have a couple things we can do. We can use a pre-built landing page where you can use one of the ones that Thrive gives you. For example, if I click on this, you can see I have all these wonderful sales pages. Feel free to use any of them. They're all pretty good. Another option that we have is to use our own. So we can click on the gear and we can import a landing page and it'll tell you, yeah, it overwrites everything that you have here. Totally fine. So what I've done is I've uploaded my sales page template. This is actually a template that I built that I use for my Thrive Apprentice course. And I make these templates available to Convology Pro members. So if you like the template, it's in Convology Pro. Now I'm gonna select my template. It's a zip file that I just dropped into my media library and I'm going to click import. Now, just like magic, my entire sales page has been completely imported into my site, into my landing page flow. And all I have to do is make tweaks to make this page match this particular product or course that I'm selling, and I'm essentially ready to go. Now, assuming that everything was good here, all I have to do now is edit the buttons and link them over to my checkout step of my flow. Just a reminder, you get that inside the sales page step of your flow. You go to the settings of that step and you find the shortcode section. Under the shortcode section, we're looking for the next step link. Copy that jump back over to your sales page, go to all of your buttons and paste in the link. Once you save, you can jump back over to your flow and go back over to design and you can click view. And here is our sales page. It's done and our buttons are now going to take us to the next step in our flow, which is our checkout page. Now, when we click on that button and we look at our checkout page, well, we've got a blank page again. That's because we need to create our own checkout experience. And that's just as easy as creating the sales page. So let's jump back to the steps section of our flow, find our checkout currently called checkout woo. And let's click on that. We're going to make some edits. The first thing I'm going to do is change the name by clicking the pencil icon. I'll call this checkout for Convology Pro. Again, it doesn't matter what you call it. It's just for your own organization. And we've got some more tabs here. We're in the design tab, which is pretty much exactly like the previous one, but we have a checkbox edit design settings. Go ahead and check that. There's some really cool stuff we're going to come back to. Next, we have the product tab. We need to assign a product to this checkout step of this flow. So let's add a new product and let's search for our Convology Pro membership. Select our product and click add product. Great, we've got that added. You can change your settings for coupons and you can enable product options, which gives you options like letting the user select multiple products, using variations, enabling quantity. These are more for e-commerce websites, so we're actually not gonna use them at all. We're just going to leave it like this. Now we have some really neat tabs here. We have order bumps, checkout offer, and I'm gonna leapfrog over form fields and go to dynamic offers because these three things here let us do all kinds of cool things just like they sound. I'm going to create a separate video to cover these things because I think they're that neat and they warrant their own video. For now, we're just straight selling our course or our membership Thrive Apprentice product. Form fields, however, is an interesting one. We can click enable custom fields and we can create our own custom fields. If you need fields that aren't covered by default in the WooCommerce checkout, you can create your own. I'm not gonna worry about that in this video, but this is where you would find those. Now, here's the important part. Here's what we really, really need here. We need to go to the settings tab and we need this short code, cartflows underscore checkout. 
give that a copy and let's click save settings for good measure. Now let's jump back over to our design section and let's proceed with building out our checkout page template. So again, I'm going to click view and I'm going to edit this with Thrive Architect. So once again, we have a completely blank page, but I'm going to show you just really quick how to get started this time if you don't have a template. So what I like to do in the very beginning is always just expand the element tray and add a background section. It's a great place to get started. And on the left hand side under main options, you can choose the width. 1400 is pretty wide. I'm going to go with 1200 just to get started and then I'll decide later if I want more content width. Now on my clipboard, I still have that Cartflow's checkout shortcode, so I'm going to paste that in and I'm just going to center it so that it's at least on my page and out of my clipboard. Now let's take a look at what happens if I save this and then give it a preview. Here you can see I have a checkout form. The shortcode rendered all of this, which is really kind of neat. It's our normal checkout with all of those billing details and then our order section over here. But I'm going to pare this down quite a bit. I'm gonna get rid of most of this stuff. So I'm gonna jump back over to my flow section and I'm going to go under form fields and I'm gonna start turning a bunch of the stuff I don't need off. I'm gonna disable the enable ship to different address option. I'm going to disable the additional field. I'll leave the coupon field enabled and I'll enable the custom field editor and I'm gonna start turning off a bunch of this stuff. Now that we have everything disabled, let's jump back over and see what our checkout looks like. All right, we have all the things that we need to do a checkout, but now it kind of looks wonky, right? It looks lopsided. We have a lot there on the left and a lot there on the right. We're gonna turn this to a two-step checkout to consolidate just a lot of this information. Inside of our design tab back in our flow, remember I had you enable the design settings? That's because we can choose our checkout skin. Right now we are in a two column. I can set that to one column and I'll show what that looks like if I click save and bounce back over. Now that's not terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's stretched. We can condense it in a content box and that might be good. So if you want just one single column, that's not bad. But we also have the ability to change it to a two-step checkout, save our settings there. And now we have a two-step checkout that we can customize where someone can enter in their information and then go to their payment option. This has a lot of customization here. You can change pretty much all of this text. You can get rid of this message up top. You can get, you can change this from shipping to personal info and then go to the payment tab. So maybe we're not going to use a two-step checkout. Maybe let's go back and we're just going to use a one column. We'll save those settings. We'll come back to here and we'll refresh. All right, now let's condense this like I talked about. So I like to use a content box inside of a background section. And I like to take my short code, put it inside, and now find my content box in my breadcrumbs. And let's reduce our width down to oh, about maybe 800, just for good measure. Save it. Let's preview that. You can see we're already getting there. I really like how it's much thinner, but I'm gonna go even thinner. I want to add a columns to our background section. I'm gonna do a two column checkout look. And I'm going to take my content box that I put my short code in and I'm going to move it into my left hand column. Now I'm also going to add another background section to the top. I'm going to keep this super simple. I'm not going to build anything beautiful here. I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to build something. All right. And in a twinkling of an eye, I, well, in about five minutes of editing, I have created a completely custom checkout page that has my checkout form and a couple bullet points and two videos testimonials. And I think that's a pretty clean looking checkout page. I think it rivals just as clean of a checkout page as something like Thrivecart. And again, it's completely customizable using Thrive Architect. Now we have one final step and that's to decide what happens at the confirmation page step. So let's do this again. Let's click into our thank you woo step and rename this. I like to call it confirmation page. And we can go to the settings tab and this short code is pretty important. It's our order details. Let's copy that. Now here we are back on that blank page again. This time I'm just going to import a template. It's another one that I make available to members of Combology Pro and that's just my standard confirmation template. So we'll click the gear import landing page. We'll drop our template in here. We'll click on it and click import. And in a matter of seconds, we have a complete confirmation page that we can make tweaks to finalize it and then click save. And if you want to add those order details, it's kind of like when you purchase a product in WooCommerce, it kind of gives you, here's what you paid, kind of like a, a web version of an invoice. Uh, you don't even need to do it, but we did copy that short code. You could just come in here, paste in that short code, center it. And then when somebody does make a purchase, it will show you those details. 
Personally, I don't really feel they're necessary because we do have the ability to use the My Account page, which I actually created another video all about. Uh, so you'll find that here on the channel. And basically, we don't even need this because they can find that info there. So if you want to include it, you paste the shortcode in on the page, just like we've been doing. Otherwise, you save your work and we're done with our confirmation page. That's essentially it. Let's talk about this. We built our sales page, our checkout page, and our confirmation page. Now for our sales page, we basically made that like any other page on our site. We can click this view link right here and check it out. There it is. We can copy our link. In this case, I called mine sales landing, but this could have been you know, yoursite.com slash name of your sales page. You link that to people, put that in your navigation on your website, and it lands them on what looks like just any old landing page on your site. And then you click the button, right, to go to our checkout page that we created. And there we go, custom checkout exactly for this product. It's really that simple. Somebody purchases the product, checks out, boom, they land here right on your confirmation page where the rest of your Thrive Apprentice student experience can take over. Pretty simple, right? Now, I did promise you earlier that if you want to combine your sales page and your checkout page into one, here's all that you have to do. You see this, you come here, you click the three dots and you delete your sales page. Instead, you come back to your checkout page, edit your checkout page with Thrive Architect, and you come back in here and you turn this into your sales page. Watch how easy that is. All we have to do is remember, let's just keep our cart flows checkout section. You could turn this into a template or just copy your short code. And let's import our landing page again. And now that we've imported essentially our sales page, we can embed that checkout wherever we want. If I wanted it to be down here at the bottom, I could add the shortcode in a text element, or I could just, once again, drop in a template that I've created, find my checkout template, boom, there it is, it's loaded in, click save and preview the page. And now when I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see there's our checkout field. You can make a couple tweaks, you could put like a checkout here, et cetera, but there it is, your checkout is right on your sales page and these buttons right here could just smooth scroll you down to it. So again, to get that experience, you would just come here, you would click the three dots, delete your sales page, link people directly to your checkout page, just click the view button, copy the link, you can make that link whatever you wanted under the settings like I showed you, and you're good to go. You have literally just a checkout sales page combo and a confirmation page all built inside of Cartflows. All right, and that's it. Super simple. Cartflows gives you so much customization over the funnel of your WooCommerce experience when you're selling a Thrive Apprentice product, which could be a course or a membership. And like I mentioned earlier, I am going to create more videos related to using Cartflows with WooCommerce to create a funnel for selling your Thrive Apprentice products. And we're going to incorporate some of those order bumps, checkout offers, and dynamic offers as well. I hope you learned how easy it is to take WooCommerce, which out of the box it's not a great experience and you can turn it into an awesome and very effective funnel that looks practically however you want it to look and has a ton of capabilities so again i'm doug at convology and i'll see you hopefully in the next video